So this is it. We're doing it. We're crossing the border from Colombia to Venezuela. God be with us. So one of these is $10. La frontera. Cruzamos la frontera. Bienvenido a Venezuela. That was one of the most intense hours of my life. I hate to say it, but I, I was right about Venezuela and crossing into this country. The Colombian side was a piece of cake. It was the other side of the border where the problem started. After carefully browsing through all my stuff, the heavily armed gentleman invited me to a boiling hot little room where I had to strip down and show them my hairy ass and genitals. They told me they could see I was a drug addict and threatened to beat me up, stick needles in me and imprison me. But after a donation of $20 and a tasty hazelnut Toblerone, we were the best of friends and the guards started bragging about how well equipped their women were. After that, I thought it was all over, but it had just started. 30 steps later, I was grabbed by a national guard and dragged to a parking lot where three of his friends were waiting for me. They accused me of being a spy. Then they accused me of being a homosexual. They said they would imprison me and uh, sooner after, the guard walked away with my phone and my passport. And the only thing I could think about was how screwed I would be if they found out I was a journalist. After being threatened with guns about five or six times, Walter shows up and saves the day and actually manages to get both my passport and my phone. Muchas gracias. Por la cerveza. Por ayudarme. De nada. I'm gonna have a hard time processing all this. And yeah, this is Walter's brother and cousin. I can't shake the feeling I could have been sitting in a very unpleasant prison cell in Venezuela right now. Feels like that was a close one. Instead, I'm sitting in a very cozy bed at the home of a very gentle, gentle man. Life is funny sometimes. And all you Swedish hipster guys thinking of coming to Venezuela, don't bring the snooze. The police will think it's drugs and you will get sent to jail. Come to think about it, bring the snooze. <laughs>